Yo guys, it's Linux Benchmarks here. In today's video, I wanted to teach you guys how to install um, Genshin Impact on Linux, as it's one of the um, one of the games that lots of people uh, probably want to play on Linux. I know uh, one of my friends likes to really play uh, Genshin Impact a decent amount, and he really does enjoy the content that they put out. Um, but uh, a while back, Genshin Impact um, didn't work on Linux. Um, and the only way of playing it was through a pretty, I won't say the uh, way to install that version that I'm trying not to talk about, um, as it had um, specific ways of making it work on Linux. Uh, but I won't say specifically the name, uh, but if anybody wants to know um, how to install Gadget Impact on the secret way, I guess you could say, which isn't necessary anymore, um, uh, you guys can comment down below and I can um, link you the um, GitHub repo of it, but uh, in today's video, I just wanted to show you the normal way of getting Genshin Impact uh, installed on Linux. As recently, uh, not recently, uh, a couple months ago, they added um, Linux, not really, they didn't state that they added Linux support, but the anti-cheat wouldn't kick you out or ban you anymore. You could just play it and it wouldn't have any um, we wouldn't have any issues uh, playing it under Wine. So I would say there's about like three ways you can get Genshin Impact running. Uh, one way is through bottles, which I did in the past when Genshin, when Genshin Impact actually started working, um, or you could install it through Lutris. Uh, but the method I'm going to do today is through the Heroic Game Launcher, as I would say it's probably the easiest method to getting you know, uh, Genshin Impact installed, or and really like any game that's from Epic Game Store, um, Heroic is probably the easiest way. And the Genshin Impact launcher is on the Heroic, uh, on the Epic Game Store. So, <clears throat> you want to launch Heroic Games Launcher, and um, for me it's here. You also, you know, before, you know, you want to um, actually grab the um, Heroic Game Launcher. So for me, it's on the Pop Shop. Oh, uh, here it is. Here, uh, you want to grab the flat pack version. Uh, there is, for me, I have the beta um, repository, and then there's also a system-wide for me. Um, this is, that's just how PopOS is set up. Uh, but yeah, you just want to grab the Flatpak version of Heroic Games Launcher, um, and you want to go to your store, go to the Epic Store. After, like before this, you want to log in, it will grab, um, you know, your Epic Games or GOG, whichever one. Um, but you want to go to the Epic Store and you want to go to the free uh, games section and then keep scrolling till you find uh, Genshin Impact, which is right here. Um, so now you want to buy it, of course. For some reason, Epic Games, uh, for some reason, needs you, needs you to buy a free game, which is really weird, I would say. Uh, but yeah, basically, after you bought it, um, you want to go back to your library, hit the little refresh icon till it um, refreshes. And yeah, you just want to go to Genshin Impact and basically click install. Um, now the install path for me is going to be in home slash ned slash game slash heroic. Um, and then the wine prefix is going to be in home ned games heroic prefixes default Genshin Impact. Um, and I have selected the wine GE Proton 812. So if you want to get the wine uh, version, let's say you don't have a wine GE version installed, you want to click on the wine manager and you want to grab the latest wine GE Proton uh, 812. You don't want to grab the Proton one, you just want to grab the wine GE version um, as that's the one that is preferably used um, when it comes to outside of Steam. Uh, so you want to grab the 8-12 eight, <coughs> eight or whichever one's the latest. Um, you don't have to use this one. If there is a newer one like 8-13 or 14 or 15, you want to grab that one. Um, or you can just um, you know, you can select YNGE latest. Um, do not grab the League of Legends build. This is uh, the League of Legends as it says LOL in it. Um, so don't grab that one as that has specific patches for League of Legends. Um, if you want to play League of Legends, that works on Linux as well. Um, but yeah, just go to your library, uh, go to Genshin Impact, click install, install, um, then you can go to your download section and then <clears throat> it will download the uh, launcher, which is around 132 megabytes um, in size. As you can see here, Genshin Impact is now done downloading. But you just can click play. Um, it's going to create a wine prefix for us as it hasn't created one yet, so it has to do that. Um, basically, what a wine prefix is, is it's a fake Windows drive um, or not drive, just like a fake Windows um, directory, basically. If you go into that prefix, it will look very similar to how the Windows directory looks. 
Um, and as you can see here, um, here is the Genshin Impact um, launcher. It does seem to be a bit stuttery moving it around, maybe because that's just this loading things, I'm guessing. So it seems like the um, the launcher is a bit stuttery, I would say, um, which isn't really that good. But you know, you're not really here to um, uh, you know use the launcher. You're here to like play the game. So um, for me, I have insufficient space on my disk for some reason. Do I really? Which, um, I have 247 gigs free. Interesting. If I select my there you go. So if we go to my desktop C drive, uh, if we go to program files, I'm guessing this is x86. Yeah, we'll install it in here. So I'm gonna select um, the x x86 one or just uh, I could take this out let's select the program files x86 then click install um, and then yeah it will start installing it for us and the game is pretty big it's around 60 gigs so this might take a while for me to install and I'll um, I'll come back when it's fully installed and I'll show you guys some gameplay and as we can see here uh, now it's actually finished downloading and now I can just click launch and hopefully it will launch, pro launch properly and now uh, we'll have uh, no real uh, issues as you can see here i have enabled the manga hud as well which if you guys want to know how to enable manga hud on heroic game launcher you basically just go to the um settings of the game uh you go other and then there's a button here called enable manga hud uh, which for that to work you need the flat pack version of manga hud so if you go flat pack install mango hud and then we select our user and then we select um the free desktop platform vulcan layer mango hud at 22.08 which is the latest version that um most of the pretty sure all of the flat pack versions of like the game launchers so like heroic games launcher bottles and lutris they all use um the latest mango hud which is 22.08 just like that and for me it's already installed um that means you would um you would restart heroic games launcher and then you do this again you click the tick stop the game um, restart it and then it would um have it enabled like it does on here um then you know we sign in all right as we can see here um we've got it running um running at 60 fps i'm using that second fps cap um here we go to our graphics fps oh wow we can't go any higher what have been off that change anything? No? What the fuck? <laughs> Capped at 60, what the hell? Uh, FSR, you can turn that off. Why would you need FSR if I'm getting like exactly 60 FPS? Come on now. Um, hey, that's okay. Well, but as you can see here, it seems to be running uh really well. Frame time seem pretty perf perfect, I would say. Um, so yeah, if you guys uh like the video you definitely can give it a like and i'll um catch you guys in the next uh video peace